This video is going to demonstrate the processes involved in lowering and raising an LIR MG30 or MG40 style mast assembly. Uh, the mast we are doing the demonstration on today is an MG40 that was manufactured by Jakewith Industries. This MG40 was installed in 1984 and has been lowered and raised over a hundred times. Uh, this particular mast is being used for parking lot lighting uh, at our uh, Jakewith facility. Before lowering or raising any mast, it's important that you first inspect the equipment being used and the mast that is being lowered. Uh, it's a good idea to start first checking the uh, LIR tilt device, uh, which is their Jake with part number L5005. You want to check the cable to make sure that it's properly wound on the drum, uh, the ta that the cable's not frayed, and that it's not uh, binding in any way. Then you can move down to the connections at the bottom, at the base, and make sure that the crimps are properly attached, that the cable is not separating, and that there's no apparent slippage occurring. Then you want to look at the uh, pulley hook block. Uh, make sure that the hook is in good shape, uh, that the safety latch is working properly and that there is no uh, apparent damage to this uh, assembly. Then you want to check the, the pin to make sure that it's properly attached to the base and that, that it will fit in the anchor bar uh, because this is the primary connection for the tilt device and it's critical that this this works properly. Uh, the next thing moved to the uh, trailer jack assembly which is the Jake with part number L5006. This should be attached to the LAR base tube with these four bolts. Make sure that they are snugged up and uh, the trailer jack is tight and that uh, it will crank up and down uh, and perform its function. The next thing we want to check is the mast itself. We want to make sure that our hinge points are properly engaged. There's no gaps here between the angles and the the end of the channel, we want this pin engaged, fully engaged in this angle on both sides. Then we want to check the stabilizer rods to make sure that they're not loose. They should be snug and not rattle when you shake them. And then finally check the attachment of the stand plate to the tube on the, on the base to make sure that's proper and the parts aren't loose or coming apart. Uh, at that point you should be ready to start your lowering process. If your mast does not have a permanent resting bar, we recommend using the Jakewith L5016 portable maintenance stand. Before using this maintenance stand, we recommend that you inspect it for a proper function. Uh, it has an adjustment uh, for height. The top cradle assembly should rotate freely back and forth so that it aligns itself 
with the mast tube. Before lowering the mast, it's a good idea to place this maintenance stand in the approximate position where you will be using it. Once you've inspected the equipment to be used, make sure that the base of the tilt device is engaged in the anchor bolts with the washer on the top of the bottom plate here on both sides. And make sure that your locking pin is engaged in your anchor bar and it is pushed in as far as you can get it. Uh, then you should be ready to attach your safety hook to your slotted plate. And we find the easiest way to do this is to turn the pulley, pulley block sideways, slide the, the hook through the slotted plate, and turn it 90 degrees. Then engage the slotted plate with the pulley block so the safety hook snaps out and you're attached properly. Then you can swing the, the whole assembly over and align it to the tube and take the slack out of the, out of the, take the, slack out of the winch. At this point, you should be ready to lower the vast assembly. The next step is to remove the lock from the locking pin and pull the locking, pull the locking pin out of the base. Step around the, to the side where the handles are, and you can operate both sets of handles at the same time to control the lowering process. Start cranking the trailer jack until, until the slack is out of the cable. And release the cable as you're cranking the jack until the mast assembly starts to lower with just the cranking of the uh, winch. Try to maintain a, a nice even rate of cranking on the winch so that the mass doesn't jump around. Make sure the hook. Make sure as the mast is being lowered that the pulley hook block is properly aligned and not binding in any way. gets down to a level where it's close to engaging the maintenance stand, you can make a final adjustment on the maintenance stand to make sure that it engages properly.
No work should be performed on the upper part of the mast assembly unless the mast is supported by a permanent resting bar or a Jacobith portable maintenance stand. When raising the mass assembly, it's important to maintain a constant cranking motion to minimize the movement of the mast. As the mast approaches vertical, continue cranking the winch until the trailer jack comes in contact with the foundation surface. At this point, you can crank the trailer jack up and continue cranking the winch so that you maintain tension on the cable. At this point, pull the pulley hook block to the side as you continue cranking the trailer jack, which will lower the base into the locking cradle. Once the base is fully engaged in the locking cradle, Place the locking pin through the locking cradle until it's seated and secured with a padlock.